Hey you guys, it's Rachel here from Sense of Tempo Connie Corso. We're here with some of our babies. This big blue guy here is Bishop. He was our first pick male from our last litter. <laughs> They're not even four months old yet. He's so big. And we've got Blondie. And we've got Enzo over here. He's a big old guy. And yep, there's Preacher smelling his boy. He's so big. Did you big old bishop? Oh, did you big old bishop? He's a baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He knows. Preacher knows. Look at him wagging his tail. He's so happy. Oh, he's so happy. He knows. He knows. Come on, Preacher. You can't bring him back. <clears throat> yeah, watch her watch her collar placement with her. Yeah, so she's so she's not her normal self as I as I've um, said earlier. Whenever we saw her humping and all that and all that that dominance play that from the hormones, um, she's not her normal self right now. So we're, we've got her on a leash um, to prevent any type of mishap, especially with the puppies around. We just safety first. So, if we hadn't have brought the puppies, um, we wouldn't have brought her. So, um, not a good idea. It was a definitely not a good idea to bring her, I can admit that. But, we're making the best of it. So, w dude, watch her collar placement, Alex. There's a good boy, Enzo. See, this is so good. He's getting affection from learning that he can get affection from people. Midnight, quit it. Just quit it. She thinks it's her job to go dominate everybody. She's like, don't you forget it. I'm the pack leader around here. Cashmere, where's he at? Where's... There he is. Yes, he's doing so good. Yes, you are. I know, I love you so much. Yes, they do. You're such a big guy. Yes, you are. Just like his daddy. Just like his daddy. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, they get so, so I swear, yeah, they're they're the craziest looking dogs as they grow. You just have to just remember what they look like at eight weeks and just <laughs> close your eyes until they mature. <laughs> they all go through the, yes, a crazy, right? She's right back to normal again. Dude, collar placement, Alex. It's everything. You're like training me. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, wow. Pull the latch down. Remember the latch? So you always got to pull your throat latch down on these dogs, that big old Sit. throat pouch, because then you don't have control of the head. <laughs> dominate? Oh yeah, don't let him do that. Don't let him do that. Yeah, don't let him dominate. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you want to, you, what you want to do to correct that? Yeah, what you want to do to correct it is, is you make him lay on his side now. Like just put, put him yep, on his put him on his side. And then and then what you're going to do when you put him there mm -hmm. is you're going to hold him there and he's not going to want to give it to you. He's going to fight you. And um yeah, you want you want to hold the back end too. Yeah, he's going to fight you for it. He's not going to want to give it. And when he gives up just for the split second when he finally gives up, not yet. He hadn't given up. He's trying to get up. When when he actually when he actually gives in emotionally, which isn't yet. I'll let you know when he does. He's going to fight you initially because he's not wanting to give you submission yet. And now you can let him up. Okay. And so that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do to discipline him. When, and that's what that is, is that's just bad manners. That's okay. just him kind of like, um, it's kind of like a friend that runs over and is just like body slams you or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's just, he's, at this point in his age, he really doesn't mean much by it. But as he matures... Then it will become actual dominance. Yeah, it'll become real, genuine, um, get down or I'll put you down kind of stuff, right? So anytime he does it, you you basically do what to him what he's trying to do to somebody else. Okay. And then he'll learn if I do this, then then this is what's going to happen to me, right? Okay. And so and then he'll put those two and two together because you're doing to him what he's trying to do to somebody else, okay. and that's and that's what um, yeah. that's what works. <laughs> but he's so big and pretty. <laughs> Yes, you are, dude. He's just a big old. That's awesome. Oh my God, man. Be nice, Bishop. He's gonna be way bigger than preacher. 
Yeah, so go ahead and put him in, in and correct him for that because he's being dominant. So go ahead and put him down. And then what you do, yeah. Your four shoes. <laughs> you were the long shoes. Yeah. And you just let him, and I would even tell him, like, no, no. That was bad. No. Nat? No, Can you sir. Hold him? No. Right. There we go. Set him up. And you might have to do this a couple times. He's a stubborn. He's a dude. He's like a big guy. You know what I mean? He's he's gonna want to try to push his weight around. You know? Mhm. Mm so. But but I will say. But I will say his. his you see how his demeanor's a little bit better right now? Mm -hmm. Like he's not really trying to go for it. He's a little more unsure of himself. That's a good thing. Okay. That means that you've that confidence that he's had, where he thinks he can come and jump on people, mm -hmm. that has diminished some, and that's what you want. Yeah. You want him to just be respectful. And this is what I would do. Bishop. No, sir. No. No. And so I would I would get in. You see that look on his face right there? That says I'm sorry. That's what that face is. Okay. That's a I'm sorry face. So you see you see him coming to me? You see him wagging his tail and mm -hmm. trying to lick me? So that is puppy submission. That's what he would do to his mommy. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah. Right? And that's what you want. You know, that's what you want. He can interact, but he has to be respectful. She's just train him on because she's a dingbat and doesn't yeah. care. <laughs> that's good. That's sorry. good. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, but you see how he, he redirected that energy? Mm -hmm. He's not going right back to him. So you just have to do it a couple times. Um, you just have to keep, keep an eye on him. <clears throat> Midnight! See, there are my girls over there trying to be dominant. Midnight! Get out of it, woman! Psst, quit trying to be a bully. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bishop. Yeah. Do so you see how whenever I, I called to him just then, mm -hmm. how he put his, he relaxed his ear back some and he looked back at me and he kind of gave me a little bit more of a submissive thing. Mm -hmm. That's, he knows now, okay, she's listening. I'm going to have to watch out. I'm going to have to do what I'm told. Right. Okay. And that's a good thing. That means that he's listening and he's being respectful. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> and that's what, we, that's what we want. And it's, it's, the thing is, is it, you have to be tough. You know what I mean? It's not always fun. It's not always, um, you know, it's, it, it's hard. I, I, was, I had somebody come over today and they were wanting to get a pup and I was telling them, you know, when you experience these dogs and you get to see how loving they are and how, um, loyal and affectionate they are, it becomes difficult to discipline them, right? Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't right. want to, you don't want to like. it's better than me, honestly. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so, so like, so that's the only thing is you have to be, you no you have to be willing to to step in and and do what is necessary and and not worry about his feelings because i'm telling you that dog right there is going to be so big that if you don't have 100 percent control of him oh my god girl you're not gonna be able to take him anywhere you're not i mean i'm serious that's going to be a 140 150 pound dog fit and trim mm -hmm. not overweight fit and trim that's what he's going to be so like you're really going to have to be on top of him okay you know he is very what big. What do you suggest about people? Because I mean, it's not a bad thing, but when he gets that big, the fact that he likes to just go meet every anybody, and yeah. everybody, even if like she was over here and we were the yeah. only ones. Yeah. No, any any form of excitement, but, any form of, of big excitement like that, you just wanna you wanna bring it down. When especially when they're pups like that, mm -hmm. I wouldn't let him run up and greet people initially. I would make him sit and let them come to him, make him sit and be calm before he gets pet. Um, when people come over, make him go to his spot and sit down. Like, if he's already exhibiting these kind of like bully behaviors, mm -hmm. you you want to go ahead and just and, and stop it before it even begins a problem or becomes a problem mm -hmm. by limiting his ability to ever um, behave in those manners. Right? Okay. He can't be a bully if he's never given the opportunity. Right? Okay. And then as he grows and matures into himself, he'll stop behaving that way as much. Once he knows the rules, then you then you can kind of. Um, ease up a bit but in the meantime when he's big like this and he knows he is and he's full of himself you're gonna have to really be riding him okay so but he is he, there's he's not a there's nothing that I would you know he's not a dangerous dog he's a great dog he's doing real good and look how good it is for them <laughs> I know look at look at Enzo coming out coming out of him you know like it's doing so good
Go get what's 